Well, the widespread lockdown in March led many people to wonder whether telling people to stay at home would lead to a COVID baby boom. And while it's too early to tell whether the pandemic has led to pregnancies, babies have certainly led to joy in 2020. Inside Southern Hills Hospital, the sounds of a lullaby fill the halls, letting everyone know a baby has arrived. In November, that song was played a lot. We did have a record breaking month. 171 reminders that 2020 hasn't been all bad. In the midst of all of the unknown right now, we are certain about one thing, and that is, you know, bringing a new life into the world. It's a beautiful thing. But don't call this a COVID baby boom, at least not yet. These babies were conceived before the pandemic. The widespread shutdowns making for an interesting pregnancy plot twist. It was already too late to think about if it was the right time or not. <laughs> so <laughs> we went with it. Navnita Oni Krishnan is a pediatric gastroenterologist. She found out she was pregnant with her second at the end of March. She says the most challenging part of being pregnant this year was the lack of information. Just a lot of anxiety around um, whether you get it, what it will be like, what will happen to the baby. Oni Krishnan's OBGYN Christina Wynn says the anxiety and uncertainty of this year, especially economically, has led to more women seeking out long-term reversible birth control methods like IUDs. Most of them are coming in for implants, which is interesting. I mean, I've seen a surge in my numbers in that. I'm trying to keep up with the ordering of these devices too. But Dr. Wynn says she's also seen a rise in the number of women with abnormal bleeding. Periods are thrown off because of the stress that this has created on women. Um, so that may be decreasing ovulation rates and also impacting the amount of, you know, women that get pregnant. But in Room 219, a six pound reminder that even the most stressful times can have a bright spot. Despite all the things that everybody went through and all the anxiety, she is a little bundle of joy. It's hard not to just feel so happy when you see that story. I mean, that baby is just so darling. And, uh, you know, there's always good things, even in difficult times. Exactly. And that's what I was just going to say with everything happening this year. Those uh, moms certainly definitely seem to be happy to have their uh, new bundle of joy. <laughs> well, they do. And you know what? Actually, being in kind of an isolation period, not bad when you have a newborn because you're pretty much isolated anyway. You know, exactly. you need to just... The yeah, down. the timing worked out there. It did. It did. <laughs>